Katie was climbing up on the sort of built-in bookshelf that we have in the new apartment. You know, David had told her to get down or something like that, and she didn't. And she jumped, and I was so sure we were going to have a broken leg on our hands. Uh, but instead of, you know, landing and smashing herself, she, uh, she floated. She just didn't land on the ground, uh, about four inches off of the ground. And she said, see, Mommy, I didn't fall. And uh, you have to understand, this is very typically Katie. Uh, if she doesn't want to do something, she just doesn't. So, like, if you want to put her to bed and she just decides and gets it in her head that she's not going to sleep yet, she will keep herself up for hours fighting about it. Um, if she doesn't want to eat, she can literally make herself sick just so that she doesn't have to eat whatever it is that you put down in front of her. So we rarely push her that hard. So when Katie decided that she didn't want to land on the ground, I wasn't totally shocked by the fact that she just didn't. The problem is now that she she can't land. She's basically about, about four inches off the ground now. She's constantly hovering. She can move vertically uh, about a foot, but she thinks that uh, she can go higher if she just practices at it. We've warned her to not go higher than the roof and to be careful when she's practicing that she's not allowed to try to go vertically outside. She doesn't seem to float away or anything. It seems like it's in her control, which is good. Really, the only thing we're worried about now is, like, if she tries to sit in a chair, she's fine, but her feet sort of float up away from the ground. She can't lie in bed, so we had to move her bed up so that she could be lying on it and her feet would still be at least four inches up off the ground. Although, last night she was tossing and turning a bit and her feet ended up floating a little higher, so she was kind of sleeping, hanging a little bit, um, which had to have been uncomfortable. But she's been in good spirits about it. Um, I'm really impressed with her attitude. All things considered, I just, uh, I worry a little bit about if we can't get it straightened out in the next year or so. You know, schools here are already pretty tough for kids who are unusual. Katie's already very unusual. Her being that different by, you know, floating. I don't want to put her in an international school. For one, those are incredibly expensive, and two, I don't know that it would fix any of the problems. She's still going to have difficulty with being, you know, a cute little blonde girl in Japan. She's still going to have difficulty with being distinctly Katie and, and the floating. We'll see how public school works out. We'll keep it flexible. Yeah, that, that's basically it. Most of what I just told you is true. Well, thanks.